And so, what do we do with this kind of gender difference? Because guess what? I was attracted to Rhonda because she was different from me. She was not me. So what do we need wives to do? Wives need to slow down a little bit and hear your husband's actions. Sometimes men act instead of talk speaking. He may pick up the trash and take it out for you as a way to show you that he cares about you. Working hard and bringing home a good living for us to be living off of. Look at our actions, wives, because we oftentimes are serving, doing, and giving. We're not as good at words. We'll talk about that more later this uh, morning as we look at uh, communication. But we're not as good at words as you are. You use two to three times more words in a given day than we do. And if we can, had I, can to I tell a quick little story? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, years ago, some researchers wired a children's playground for sound. And as they analyzed the recordings later, and these were elementary school age, primary school age children, something like 97 or 98 percent of the sounds that came from the girls' mouths were intelligible speech. They were carrying on conversations. The boys, it was a much, much lower percentage. A lot of the sounds that came out of their mouths were pow, bang, zoo. <laughs> so, so it, it's widely known that we women have a lot more words to share. And maybe we need to slow down with them and, and let our guy catch up to us. Well, when it comes to us as husbands, perhaps we need to be a little more on the listening side. We've got two ears and one tongue. What does that tell us about how we're made? Maybe we need to le listen twice as much as we speak. Probably the ratio goes even more than that. But listen more, advise less. Rhonda is a very confident person. And if you want to uh, get under her skin and irritate her, ask her something that makes it sound like she's not competent. But one of the competent things she's done besides teach math and science is she was a, um, a general contractor. So in other words, she called all the shots on building projects uh, with very nice homes that she built. I'm an oldest child. My younger sister told me one time, she said, you finally found your calling in life, telling other people what to do and spending other people's money. So. <laughs> If I want to irritate Rhonda, is she sharing how difficult it was with the plumber, the painter, the electrician, or whatever? The worst thing I can say is, well, dear, why didn't you do and give her a piece of advice? Wrong move. And what I really wanted to hear was, oh, oh I'm so sorry. Mm. Sorry you had to wow. deal with that today. I know you must, it must have been frustrating. She wants me to be her friend in the marriage, not her parent or counselor or advisor. And I do have a professional liability. If some of you are counselors out here, you share this with me. Because people pay us good money for helping them get to a better place in their life over difficult issues. You would think that Rhonda would appreciate that because she gets it for free. She wants me to be her friend. So advise less, guys. Listen more. And one of the ways that you listen more is you say, wow, that was a really tough day. Or, yeah, that's really a difficult situation. Or better yet, how could I help you today? What can I do to decrease your stress? Maybe we need to go out to dinner, or maybe I need to bring something home for dinner. We were getting ready for Singapore, and life has been really busy in the midst of it, and we've been so excited about coming. And I shocked her a few times by saying, you know, why don't we just not plan to fix food? Let's go out, or what can I carry in uh, to the home here? And uh, wow, she never turned me down. Fancy that. Yeah, the day that he called last on oh, Monday a week ago, and he called me, he said, um, so what's for dinner tonight? And I said, to be honest with you, I don't know. Well, why don't we do, and I suggested something, because normally, as an eldest child, she comes up with the ideas of what to do with our entertainment. I'm a youngest child, by the way, and so I'm used to being told where to go, what to do. <laughs> Somebody else making the plans. Anybody else a youngest a really child? Match. Raise your hand if you're a youngest child here in the room. Okay. You're my kindred spirits. You get me. Uh, how many of you are eldest? Many, eldest, eldest children? Okay. Oh, yeah. You get her, and guess what? Opposites attract.